What else comes with cold weather, Darian? Ice fishing. Ice fishing. <laughs> it's a huge catfish! Even bigger than yours! Can you get him in? Alright, here we are. First time out ice fishing for the year. Darren's helping get the slush scooped out. Isaac's going to start plugging a hole. What do you think, Darren? Good. Beautiful day to be out or what? Pretty nice day. Yeah, there's the sun. Geese are coming overhead. Yeah, beautiful sky. It's still warm. It's like, I don't know, what is it, 40 degrees still, so... All right, we'll see how we do. All right, Darian's on one now. That's one. What do you think it is? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a catfish. Oh, Let's that's get a this. huge one. I can't even reel. That's a huge catfish. Even bigger than yours. Can you get him in? Can you land him? There he goes. Up. Oh, don't let him break the line. I'm gonna let you land him. He's almost got it out the hole. He got it out of the hole. The line broke, but he made it. Oh yeah, that's a huge one. <laughs> he got it. Huge and fat. Yeah. Two to two. I think the only thing that's gonna bite is catfish. Nice. I know it. In the dark is the best time for catching with catfish. Two already? They're in the freezer. And nice! Daddy, over here! What are you guys doing? Building, Building a snowman. We got a lot of wet snow yesterday, so it's perfect for snowman. Snowhead! You think it's big enough? Yeah. You want to get it over there? Yeah. Why don't we start another one think... closer to it, and then we don't have to carry it as far. Uh, no. There he is. Dad, it's a big one. Two. He's got to take it all the way to uh, there's the base of it. it. You're going to get it from there to there. Maybe we can roll that one over and make it even bigger and then use the other one for the second stack, the body, not the bottom. So about ice fishing, um, I wanted to just talk a little bit about what our, what's we've been doing with ice fishing and what it's, what we've, how we've enjoyed it and all of that. Um, Last year was actually the first time we went ever, and I'd never, I'd never done it before. And I took the boys, both of them, out at the same time, and yeah, we didn't catch anything. But what was? Did you guys have fun? Yeah. It was kind of like today, where it was a warmer day, so there was a lot of slush, and boy, they got cold and wet feet, and it was not fun for them at the end. But it started something for us that. I didn't think that I was even really going to be interested. Wow. 
I'd never really done a lot of fishing when I was younger, and I don't know, it just wasn't super appealing to me, I guess. But once I started doing it, it became, I don't know, Darian kind of was the instigator of it, and then I I took on to it. And actually, there was a couple guys that I knew through work. Um, I'd worked on a project for them, and, and they really got me started on on it as well. They just gave me a few tools, gave me a fish finder, and. Uh, to utilize for a couple of days just to try it out and see how that worked and then another Friend who was in the video Isaac. He was he was all about it. He'd done it when he was a um, When he was younger and so let's get back into it. So We did it and it was I don't know, it was a lot of fun. We just got a few tools nothing Nothing too crazy. I guess There's his face Okay, this will be a so we, we eased into it and didn't go crazy. Um, the boys did okay sometimes. Sean is probably less interested in it than Darian, that's for sure. Just Darian's always been a fishing nut. But yeah, a couple nights ago is when we went fishing for the first time this year. and We got a couple catfish out of it, which was really crazy to do. I'd never dreamt about pulling. I don't know, they weren't big, but catfish out of a little hole it was kind of fun on a tiny little pole um, so yeah I wanted to talk just a little bit about what we've been doing with that and how it's worked out for us and um, we again we just got a few poles having the right poles is key um, you know I, I didn't know anything about what an ice fishing rod was like or what the reels were like but um, I can show you some more detail sometimes show you what the reels are that I like using and why I like them Oh, there's a mouth. Whoa. Wow. He kind of looks um, grumpy. No, he's mad. Oh, Darian's got a he's snowman a on top guy. of him. He's a bad guy. He's a bad guy with an evil smile? Yeah. Oh. So, um, yeah, the right poles, just the drills we were using. I just, I have a hand auger um for drilling holes and it doesn't work too bad especially around here if the ice doesn't get more than like six inches deep it doesn't work too bad but isaac has and maybe you saw it in the video i don't know um it's a k drill is what it's called so you can just hook it up to your uh, a normal cordless or battery 20 volt drill or something and as long as you got a good sized battery on it you can plug holes all day long with that thing it works great and and just keeping it sharp is is a big thing too making sure that it it's cutting efficiently, but what? I need help. Moving it? The stand on that thing. To watch us. All right, well, I better go help these guys get stuff moved. We got a lot of snow to get rolled up, so we're gonna do that. Look at Cows in the background. In the tree. Still no over calf. Here, over here. We'll see what happens. I'm taking the day off Can today just because we got quite a bit of snow. On. I wanted to hang, hey. hang at home with the kids. Over what? here. You want to say anything, Sean? The snowman's hanging in the tree, huh? Huh. I'm gonna show you how to change the lures from that. How about we, how about you explain a little bit about some of the rods and some of the tools that we use and some of the lures too. One thing I was thinking about, what did we catch a lot of the stuff on the other night? Did we use, what did we use these? What are these things? I'll show you. If you want to, they're wax worms. I'll show you, because they're not very messy at all. They actually live in the sawdust. They're It's wax. a little wax worm, huh? They, they were so froze to death in that cold. Oh, we got two big old catfish. Yeah. So what do you do with those? You go and you put them on. These type of lures, so it's like two wax worms. What is that What type of lure? A wax. What type, what's the lure type though? I don't know. Just a jig, right? Yeah. Yeah, just a vertical jig. So in, in ice, because you're not casting, hold on, Sean. Oh my. Since we're not casting a line out, you just go up, straight up and down with the line, right? So it's called jigging. So that's what we're... Vertical. Vertical jigging. Yeah, so that's where a lot of them. Sean's got some stroller action going. Okay. So let me see, can I see that jig, a close up of it? There we go. It's like this. It'll 
Oh, you won't even hurt it. You just go to take Hook it straight on, you're not gonna do it though. Well, it, you know, you know, you know. So if you just think <laughs> Okay, Sean. If you think this is just a plain piece, no, I don't have the last one anymore. Okay. But then what, so what's push that? It and no and hook onto my sock. Watch. Mm, it's kinda tough to see the lure. Randomly's the one when you push on that. When you okay. push on that, Hold on. then when you push on that. Watch. So what kind of reel is that? See how it slowly goes? Yeah, what kind of reel is that? An inline. An inline reel? Here we go. And I'll go get the spin. Here we go. Hey, the okay, spin. hook your line up first you onto your rod so you don't have a hey, hook. So that's called a spinning reel, right? The one on the right? Yep. Yep, that's what you get by keeping your hooks not docked. Hey. Sean wants to see what the course is going to look like. So that one's just a manual auger type drill. I think we bought that for about 50 bucks, brand new. But as I was Not mentioning, heavy at all. so the one that ty that Isaac had was the, the K drill. Who you dripping water? The K drill, you can look that up on the internet. Those are pretty cool. And you just hook those right up to a drill, boom. Drill holes with your cordless drill right through. Work pretty good. Which one would you like to use? He has a window. Not that one. Or that one. Oh, wow. The smallest. That Tiny one? No, I'm just going to show you how to string them now. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. Hold up. Like, I don't know how to string them. Oh, nice. So this is oh, what? Wow. So you're starting out with all this. Is to pull your wrist. Wow. So you're running it. Watch out, Sean. So you're running it all the way, the way through the, the pole. That makes sense. Here's some more. While he's doing that, here's some more rods that we've got. Oh, we're hooked. We're hooked. Didn't do it one hand, it doesn't work very well. There we got it off. This is another, another inline. They make some different ones that I'd like to get where they've got a finger trigger on them, so these, you push the button right there on the end. You push that button in and then it puts it into a free fall mode. But some of them have a lever that you can control and basically modulate how it, how it drops. And that'd be really nice. It works pretty good. Isaac had one that's a 1-3 fishing. So it just looks like a 13. That's the brand they've got. They make them. They're kind of pricey. You've got to 
told it was a knife, but we already did that. Yeah, sometimes the little jigs, the they, the paint covers up the hole that you're supposed to put the line through, so you gotta poke that out or scrape it off with a knife. Is what he was talking and about. You've got that. But the fish, the, this is a very strong line, so what you're gonna have to do is tie it on five knots. Tie it around. Huh. I found some ear clubs laying somewhere. Whoa. Okay. Where'd you find them? In the room. Watch out, you're gonna step on the pole. Get a foot and you're gonna get a hook in They're in the room. Okay. They're in my room. Okay. Okay, you can wear it because running's gonna be pretty loud. I need to put in earplugs. Cause Rhino E's gonna be pretty loud, he says. Okay, I'm putting them in. Darren's. <laughs> yeah, Sean's not so much into fishing. Okay, you almost got it tied? Did it. What? That's an ice cream. All right, so my battery's about to run out. What else do you want to tell somebody about ice fishing? See? There you don't, Sean. It's gonna be a high high. Push any button on this. It's gonna be a high high and then the it's back. Flip it's the bail. It's like that one. You have to push it. Yep, right. So what do, you want to, what do you want to tell people about ice fishing? Or Sean, what do you want to tell people about ice fishing? Do you like it? You do? Yeah. I wanna, you want to catch a big fish? I want to go on the bottom, see if there's anything in here. There's just one we'll more on the race. Ground. You're gonna... There's just one more race. This is what's at the bottom. There's, just, got it one, there. there's just one more race. Daddy, Some power bait. Race. We got a bell. This race Another little jig. Be, That's it. Daddy, there's another one. You gotta... Okay, never mind.